today, you and I are going to go on a journey in uncharted waters, as far as I'm concerned, and probably as far as you're concerned as well. I have a, an old, uh, an old Yaesu FT736R, and the uh, VFO encoder has gone bad on it, and uh, as you'll see shortly, uh, the display on the uh, readout is just uh, totally erratic. Just uh, uh, you turn the VFO and it means absolutely nothing. So what we're going to do, uh, this is going to be a first for me and a first for you. I'm going to uh, open it up and we're going to, we're going to make an attempt to replace the original manufacturer encoder from Yesu with the Kenwood TS450 slash 690 encoder. And we'll see how it works. Uh, hopefully it'll uh, it'll do the trick. So without further ado, as they say, uh, let's get into the guts of this thing and uh, see if we can fix it. The end product will be, who knows? It may or it may not work, but you and I will both find out at exactly the same time whether it's going to work or not. So, so let's remove some screws, take the top and the bottom off of the radio, and dive inside. Here we go. Okay, so what we have here is a ancient, by today's standards, uh, top-of-the-line satellite radio, uh, all-mode HF, or not HF, excuse me, uh, VHF, UHF, 6 meters, 220, uh, top of the line in its day, uh, radio. Uh, and all, everything seems to be functioning nicely on it, except for one thing. The VFO is not working properly. What we have here is if we go to tune on sideband or any band for that matter, any mode, uh, you can see here that it's not uh, it's not working. The last digit is just going two three two three two three two three, and if you do it rapidly, it just goes randomly all over the place. It just uh, it's for all intent and purposes non-functional. So we're going to take you on a journey of uh, an attempted repair here. The uh, VFO encoder is the component that needs to be replaced on this and uh, it is currently made of unobtainium through Yesu. Uh, they no longer make the part and uh, on eBay I checked and there is no used parts at this point in time available, uh, no encoder available. So what I'm going to do, uh, I have a Kenwood TS450 encoder uh, that I purchased on eBay and I'm going to make an attempt to install that in place of the original Yesu encoder and we'll see uh, we'll see sh just what happens so we will take you on this journey and uh, it should be an interesting uh, journey for both of us we'll see how it comes out let's get going okay so now after the obvious removal of the top and the bottom cover of the radio, the encoder is right behind the uh, VFO knob. So basically you've got a screw here and a screw here that needs to be loosened is all, just loosened, and the same thing on the opposite side. Once you have the screws loosened, you can just pull the, uh, pull the head right off just like that and uh, let it lay down and if you'll notice I've got it right on the edge of the table here so that uh, it can lay totally down if you lay it on if you put the whole radio on top of the table uh, you're gonna have uh, interference with the knobs so put it right on the edge of the table and it'll lay flat next okay so now once we've got the uh, front face off this black box right here or black components that's the VFO component or that's the VFO 
uh, encoder. And that is what we're going to have to take off. We'll get you a, a, a little closer look on that. So here we have a closer look at the component. Black box. Black component. Square. And uh, that is what we will be removing. Okay. So. <clears throat> Alright. So here's. Here's our encoder right here, and the wires for the encoder come off of right here, and they eventually come up right through here, and we're going to want to unplug this harness right here. This is the harness for the, uh, for the encoder, and uh, we're going to plug the new harness right back into there. There we go. That harness is unplugged and we'll replace it. Now we'll have to put the uh, face back up because we're going to have to remove the uh, the VFO knob so that we can access the holding nut for the encoder. Okay, so once you've got the uh, face of the radio back up, you need to remove the rubber uh, gasket or, or uh, you know, whatever you call it from the VFO knob to expose the set screw. So that's what I'm attempting to do right now. And here it comes. Slowly but surely, and just pull it right off. There we go. There's the uh, rubber, and here is the set screw hole. Yep, it's an Allen head. I'll have to uh, go find a small Allen head. I'll be right back. Okay, we got ourselves a, the appropriate size Allen screw or Allen wrench. And we're just going to unscrew this until it's loose enough. And there it comes. It slides right off. Just like that. All right. We're getting somewhere. Okay. So now all we have to do is uh, get a deep socket, an 11 millimeter deep socket. And just put it on here and unscrew that. There we go. Broke that loose. And now we just get some needle nose pliers and unscrew that and remove the encoder. That's the only thing that's holding the encoder in. So we'll come back with a view of the back side of the front of the radio again and uh, continue with the video. Okay, we've got our new decoder. This is a Kenwood TS450 decoder. And we, the uh, plug-in was different. So what I had to do, I had to splice the uh, new decoder into the wires with the old decoder and uh, I made I spliced the blue uh, from the new decoder into the yellow of the old decoder plug I spliced the orange of the new decoder into the red wire of the plug and I spliced the black wire from the new decoder into the brown wire of the old plug and let's see what's left blue yellow brown red I okay orange 
I spliced the orange of the new decoder into the red of the old plug. So basically what we've got, I'll show you here in, a, in the next screenshot, what we've got. Okay, this is going to be handheld here. It's going to be a little, a little jittery. But there's the old plug from the old decoder with the old wires. And we'll follow them right on down here. And you can see I spliced them into the new decoder, which is right here. Okay. So now, let's see if we power this up, if it's going to work. Let's give it a try. Okay, we're going to turn this thing on. And uh, we're going to learn together here. Okay. It's on. Okay. Here is the new decoder. Let's get it up here where you can see it. There we go. Here's the new decoder. And we are going to turn it slowly. Look at that. Slowly turning it. And if we turn it a little faster. How about that? We turn it quite fast. And it is working. Okay. Houston, we have success on this one. This little guy right here, the Kenwood TS450 encoder, is doing the trick in place of the original Yesu FT736R encoder, which is this guy right here. And uh, We just pulled that one right out of the right out of the hole with this nut. This nut is the only thing that was holding it on there. And we're good. So let's put this thing back together now. And uh, we'll come back after we've got this thing uh, assembled. All right. Well, We've got the Kenwood encoder installed right here. Right there, this little round guy now instead of the square one. And uh, we've got our excess wire that we accumulated, uh, wire tied, and we'll snip that off here in a second. And then we'll bring this base plate back up into place and then we'll put the uh, the securing nut on the shaft and uh, we'll be just about done just about done okay we've got everything reassembled we've got the uh, VFO main knob back on and uh, we're going to give it one last test here around the track here we go Ah, slowly. Four, five, nine. Yep. It seems to be working just fine. And it's doing the tenth digit the last digit just fine I think we have a I think we have a success on our hands here now this little rig is uh, back to 100 percent functionability so if we want to tune down to 144 200 
44200. It's touchy. Here we go. 144200 on the button. VFO works perfectly. Okay, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. That uh, was an experience, a learning experience for both of us at the same time. We did it together. With that, this is N7RBP 73s, and we are QRT. Have a good one.